This video is a brief tribute and memorial to John Franklin. Um, this is uh, something I wrote May 8th, 2005, an Amazon review of his book, Writing for Story. <clears throat> and it says, this wonderful book changed my writing life. Um, I think that's true. I attribute his uh, book in part to my success with uh, Nightmare in Wichita, finished size number four on New York Times bestseller list, for paperback nonfiction. Now, I've been a writer, I mean, I've been published since I was six, well, 12, really, fiction, uh, and being paid since I was 16. I wrote Teen Talk for the Wichita Eagle, wrote Forging About for Catalyst, the youth magazine of the Disciples of Christ Church as of 50 years ago. And I didn't read Franklin's book uh, till decades later, but uh, it changed my life. I improved my writing and I recommend uh, Franklin's work. Uh, John Franklin lived January 13th, 1942, January 21, 2024. My condolences to uh, his wife, Lynn, and his daughters, uh, Catherine and Teresa. And uh, he lived a full life many accomplishments, received two Pulitzer Prize awards, and deserved them. Uh, wrote Shock Trauma, Writing for Story, Molecules of the Mind, Wolf in the Parlor, and many uh, feature stories. The Writing for Stories principally about writing nonfiction feature stories. Here are uh, Franklin's book, Writing for Story. The uh, first copy I read was uh, this one. I purchased it at the uh, Wichita State University bookstore. And uh, this is the trade paperback. And this is the hardback. Uh, inside the hardback uh, flap is this... Uh, the story, that's a much younger John. Most people know him as older. Uh, uh, author of Shock Trauma. Associate Professor. Awards. Two Pulitzer Prizes. Here I am giving a, that's Governor Kathleen Sebelius, it's about 19 years ago in her uh, office in the Kansas State Capitol in Topeka. That's me uh, then, and here I am giving a copy of, a signed copy of uh, Shock Trauma. So I had uh, encouraged her to look more into emergency services and and I think she did, uh, and she was uh, remained interested. She probably talked with uh, Obama when she was uh, secretary. Well, anyway, um, I'll stop. Uh, John's from Enid, Oklahoma. I lived in uh, Wichita for a long time. I live in Heston, Kansas now, retired retirement community. And... Um, Enid's about 90 miles from Wichita. Most of my family was from Ponca City. So if you drive straight down on 135 from Wichita, you turn to the east, you go to Ponca City, go to the west, you go to Enid. And uh, we, uh, we weren't great friends, but we were close enough friends we could give each other a hard time. Manly badinage. I would make fun of him for being an oaky. And he would make fun of me for being dumb. Um, I once drove from Wichita to 
visit my daughter in New Canaan, Connecticut, 1,600 miles, stopping for fuel and caffeine, and uh, took 33 hours. I got lost once. Uh, so he thought that was pretty foolish, and so did my daughter and my wife and everyone else, but uh, he was right. Uh, <laughs> I was only on Facebook for a short time, kept getting hacked, so I stopped that. I haven't been on in many years. But he would uh, give me a hard time on Facebook, too. And it was all good humor, guy humor. And, uh, you know, he was smart. He was a regular guy. And uh, I would do dumb things like walk around barefoot and get stickers in my feet, and he would hee-haw. So... Um, I won't forget him. I'll remember him. And uh, as I said, I I commend uh, his work to you and my condolences to his family and friends. Fare thee well, John Franklin. Job well done.